Hey everyone, if you've ever wished to turn still images into dynamic, professional looking videos without needing advanced tools or software, you're in the perfect spot. Today, we're diving into Zine AI, a robust platform that makes it easier to create visuals and videos using AI. I'll guide you through how to use Zine, plus we'll try out its standout feature, the image to video AI tool. I'll walk you through every step on how to breathe life into your static images and turn them into amazing videos ideal for social media, blogs, advertising, and more. In this video, I will help you experience the following amazing features of Zine AI. 1. Text to Image 2. Image to Image 3. Local Edit 4. Insert Object 5. Face Swap 6. AI Eraser 7. Expand Feature 8. AI Enhance 9. Product Background 10. Image to video. But before we begin, if you find value in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the AI for Winner YouTube channel. It helps me provide more resources for you and keeps you up to date with the latest AI trends all year long. Thanks a ton for all your support. Now, let's jump in. First, create a free account. I've placed the link in the description for you. You can sign up with Google or your email. I'll choose Google. When you log in to Zine AI for the first time, you will be asked a few survey questions, which you can answer as you wish. I will choose YouTube. Next, I will select Content Creator. And then I will choose Video Production. After logging into Zine AI, I was greeted by the dashboard. It's where all your creations are organized into projects, with the ability to manage multiple ones. Let's dive deeper into the dashboard and explore its features. When you first log into Zine, you'll be greeted by a sleek, user-friendly interface. On the left side of the screen, you'll find the sidebar menu, offering easy navigation to all the key features and settings of your account. At the top of the sidebar, you'll see your profile tab, complete with your name and account type. By clicking on it, you can update your account avatar, change your username, and even upgrade to a paid plan. Just to note, I'm using a paid Zine plan in this video, and we'll discuss the pricing and plans towards the end. However, if you're using the free version, you can still follow along with this tutorial, just keep in mind that you won't have access to all the features and credits I'll be using in this video. Still, you can create incredible AI images and videos. If your budget allows, I highly recommend upgrading to the paid plan. You can keep track of your credits, which are essential for unlocking premium features and tools. Every action consumes credits, but you can monitor your credit usage and even refill them as needed. The next tab is the Community tab. By clicking here, you can join the Zine community, get inspired by what others are creating, and fuel your own creativity with new ideas. This is another feature I highly recommend exploring. Next up, we have the Home menu, which will bring you back to the dashboard overview you're currently looking at. Then, we have the Projects tab. This is where you can manage and organize all of your previous and ongoing projects in one place. The API section is specifically designed for developers, allowing them to integrate Zine's tools into external platforms or workflows. The Pricing tab comes next, where you can explore different subscription plans and adjust your billing preferences. The Tutorial section is an excellent resource for learning how to use all of Zine's features, making it perfect for beginners or anyone wanting to master the platform. For real-time discussions and support, the Discord tab connects you to the Zine community on their official server. Then, there's the Refer a Friend and Affiliate Program options, which give you opportunities to earn rewards and credits by inviting others to join Zine or partnering with them to promote the platform. Finally, at the bottom, you'll find the Logout option, which lets you securely sign out of your account. Now, let's move on to the home dashboard. Everything you select from the sidebar will be displayed on the right side of the screen. Let's dive into the details of the home dashboard. First, you'll see your recent projects, where all your open projects are listed. You can also start new projects here, which will serve as a foundation for your next design idea. Moving further down, the AI Tools section provides a wide range of powerful features. These include options like, image to image, text to image, consistent character, image to video, and face swap, all powered by AI. This makes complex editing tasks easier and enables you to achieve professional results with minimal effort. Below that, we have the, create your own style, section. This feature allows you to customize and save unique design templates that fit your specific needs. It's perfect for users looking to maintain consistent branding or explore personalized creative styles. Next, you will see categories such as game design, people photography, jewelry, interior design, product design, 
print on demand, old photo restoration, style library. These categories help you quickly find the tools and features most relevant to your creative goals and projects. Now, I'll guide you through the essential tools of Zine AI, helping you unleash your creativity effortlessly. Let's kick things off by setting up a fresh project. Once your project is open, the first step is to select the canvas ratio and assign a name to it. For now, we'll keep the default 1 to 1 ratio. You'll see the toolbar at the top, while the left side hosts all the essential AI-powered features for your canvas. Now, let's explore some exciting features. First, let's experiment with the Text to Image tool. Zine AI offers an extensive library of styles. Simply pick the one that best suits your project. For instance, choose the Flux model. Then, type your desired concept into the text box below. I already have a prepared idea, so I'll simply paste it here. Then I click, Generate. The system has generated fresh images of a teacup decorated with flowers. To add it to your canvas, double-click on the result panel located on the right. Experiment with various styles and fine-tune the intensity to observe how the image evolves. The Generate button can be clicked multiple times, making batch creation quick and effortless. Increasing the style intensity will turn the image into a dynamic, colorful line art masterpiece. Now, let's dive into the image to image generation feature. Begin by uploading an image to get started. Simply click the import image button or drag and drop your image onto the canvas. In this example, I'm working with an interior design sketch. Access the style panel and pick an interior design style that complements your theme. Enhance the structure match setting to preserve the original image layout. Hit the generate button and Zine AI will produce four beautifully rendered versions of your interior design. You can hover over the result image and hold down compare to view it against the original. Once you double click to add it to the canvas, you can easily organize layers in the layer panel. For another image to image scenario, you don't have to manually describe the image. Simply click, Describe Canva, and Zine AI will automatically create the most relevant prompts for you. When working with portraits, enable, Face Match, to ensure the facial features remain accurate, then, click, Generate. To maintain color consistency with the original image, turn on Color Match. Three, Local Edit. To edit a specific section using AI, first click on AI Editor, then click on Local Edit. Then use the Brush button to select the area that needs modification. Input your desired prompt on the left and select a style that fits your vision. After generation, the chosen section will be updated based on your input. 4. Insert Object. If you want to add an object, first click on AI Editor, then click Insert Object. Simply upload a reference image. Highlight the section where you'd like the object to be placed. Create a rough outline of the object and hit Generate. The newly created object will integrate smoothly into your design. 5. Face Swap. Zine AI also offers a face swapping feature. Click on Face Kit, then choose Face Swap. Upload the face you'd like to insert. Hit Generate, and just like that, you have a brand new face. Six AI Eraser. You can use the tools on this bar to edit individual layers. For example, use AI to erase specific parts. Highlight the section you wish to delete. Click Generate, and AI will erase the content and automatically fill the area. 7. Expand Feature. If you want to extend the image borders, use the Expand tool. Click on AI Editor, then choose Generative Expand, input what you'd like AI to generate. Simply drag the edges, or let it decide for you. Then, click Generate. Zine AI will automatically expand your image by generating seamless content. 8. AI Enhance. The Enhance tool is perfect for sharpening image clarity and enriching details. Adjust the enhancement strength to control how much detail is added. You see, the image is sharper and brighter because I chose a light level. Within the Enhance tool, there's a specialized portrait mode designed for gentle refinements while preserving natural details. 
Oh, I see that the freckles have reduced significantly, and the girl's face looks much brighter and more defined. 9. Product Background For product photography, Zine AI offers a specialized tool for creating stunning backgrounds. Simply upload your product image, and click on, Remove BG. Zine AI will instantly remove its background. From there, pick from a wide range of professionally designed templates. There are many more background designs for you to choose from, arranged into different groups. Alternatively, enter a prompt to generate a unique, AI-crafted background. Oh, I saw four different background designs. Although I chose them randomly, they still turned out to be very beautiful. To download your image, simply click the Download button in the result panel. Alternatively, select the image on the canvas and choose Save as image. To save the entire project, click the Export button at the top right. Select your preferred format and utilize the AI upscale function to enhance resolution and sharpness by up to 4x. 10. Image to Video Let's move on to the exciting part generating an AI video from a static image. For this example, I'll be using the default image provided. The first thing you need to do is configure the settings for turning your image into a video, so the AI knows how to generate your video. Let's dive into these settings. At the top, you can choose whether you want to start with an image or a text description by selecting either image to video or text to video. For this example, I'm starting with an image, so I'll leave that option selected. Below that, we have the video model options. You'll see three different options here, each allowing you to choose the AI model that best fits your project. Each model has unique capabilities for customizing the output, and I'll be using the standard model throughout this tutorial. However, feel free to explore and experiment with other models as you work on your own designs. Next, we have the start and end frame feature. This lets you choose your starting and ending frames by uploading different images, and the AI will use these images to generate the video. Additionally, you can describe how the objects in the scene should move by entering a text prompt. Below this, you'll find the imagination slider, which lets you control the AI's level of creativity. This feature influences how imaginative and dynamic the transitions and animations should be. A balanced setting will ensure smooth and natural results. Next, we have the duration settings, where you can choose the length of your video, with options ranging from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. After that, we come to the Generate button. Once you've configured all your settings, simply click Generate to create your video. The platform will use the settings you've defined to bring your vision to life. Speaking of which, let's get started. Keep in mind that videos typically take around some minutes to generate. However, I can honestly say that Zine is one of the best image to video generators I've ever used, and in my opinion, the results are well worth the wait. Check it out, I told you it was impressive. You can definitely tell this is an AI-generated video, but at first glance, it's hard to distinguish. The movement, shading, consistency, camera angles, and even the hair blowing in the wind all look amazing. And all of that was created from just an image and a simple text prompt. We've only got a 5-second clip for this, but you can extend it to 10 seconds in the settings. Either way, this image-to-video generator is fantastic for creating great clips for your projects. Now, let's upload one of my own images. You can do this in a couple of ways. Click the Replace Your Image icon on the canvas or use the Upload button in the toolbar at the top left corner of the screen. After that, find the image you want to use. It looks like I'll need to resize it to fit the canvas. You can do this manually by adjusting the corners. Now, we need to adjust the text prompt to match this image. For this, let's use the prompt, Keep Foreground at the same position, Slow Zoom in on one woman. I'm keeping all the other settings as they are, but feel free to experiment with different settings to see what works best for you. Once you're ready, click the Generate button. Now, the video is ready in the results. Let's click on it and see how it turned out. Once again, I'm really pleased with the results. The consistency is great, and the video motion matches the prompt. A slow zoom in. We get fantastic, realistic movement from the character, and even the people in the background are moving. Overall, I'm really impressed with these two videos. So, that wraps up the image to video tutorial. We've only scratched the surface in terms of what you can achieve with Zine. I encourage you to experiment with all the other AI tools whenever you get some free time. 
For example, the Change Clothes feature, which is powered by the AI Editor tool using the Local Edit feature. All you have to do is select the part of the image you want to modify, describe it in a text prompt. In seconds, your model is wearing new clothes. What used to take a lot of time and effort can now be done almost instantly with the help of AI. If you want to take full advantage of all the features design offers, I highly recommend upgrading to a paid plan. To review the pricing options, just head to your dashboard and click on the pricing menu option. First, we have the free plan, which is completely free and doesn't require a credit card to sign up. It's a great way to explore the basic features of Zine without any commitment. With the free plan, you get 32 regular credits per day, which you can use to generate content, plus access to some basic features. Next, there are the paid plans, and you have three options. The beginner plan at just $8.99 per month, the creator plan at $19.99 per month and the master plan at $59.99 per month. All of these paid plans come with more credits and features, giving you more flexibility to unleash your creativity and extend your use of Zine. These plans are billed monthly, but if you choose to pay annually, upfront for the whole year, your monthly rate goes down, saving you up to 22% over the course of the year, definitely something to consider when planning your budget. Additionally, Design offers three special pricing features, the custom plan for teams, top-up credits, and a discount for students and teachers. The custom plan for teams lets multiple users share a single subscription, which is perfect for businesses, agencies, or creative teams working together on projects using Zine's tools. The top-up credits feature allows you to purchase extra credits beyond what your plan offers, ensuring you can continue generating content even if you exceed your monthly credit limit. Zine also offers a generous discount for students and teachers, making its tools more affordable for academic use, whether for class projects, personal learning, or professional development. If you scroll down a bit, you'll find a comparison table that lets you compare plans and features to see which one suits you best. Once you've chosen the plan you want, just click the subscribe button to get access to everything Zine has to offer. Thanks again for joining me in this walkthrough. If you want to experience Zine, you can use the link I provided in the video description. I hope this tutorial has helped you understand how to navigate the platform and make the most of its powerful tools. If you found it helpful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel to receive the latest videos.